Welcome back guys. If you're new, my name is Iman. Today I'm going to be doing a spring inspired, JLo inspired makeup tutorial for you guys. I really wanted like a beautiful, fresh, springy makeup, something with a lot of peach tones. And when I think of peach, I think of JLo because JLo is the queen of that perfect peach nude lip. Nobody does it like her. So I looked up a few pictures and I found a couple of pictures of her that are like so beautiful. The makeup is amazing. And that was kind of what inspired this look. So a lot of peach, a lot of glow because this is a JLo look. <laughs> if you're new, make sure you hit that subscribe button for a lot more makeup tutorials. And you could also add me on Instagram at Iman right there. Just hit that button. All right, guys, let's get into this. Okay, let's get into this look. I am starting off with a fresh face. And the first thing I'm going to be using is this coconut balm from Kopari. So I've just discovered this brand because I'm going to be working with them and they sent me a bunch of their products and they are amazing guys. If you love coconut, you're going to love this. This is their coconut melt and it's basically just a jar of straight coconut and it smells so good. You can literally eat it and you can use it on your skin, your hair, everything. Next up, I am using the Urban Decay Quick Fix. This is a spray that you apply before makeup and I noticed it actually really helps. It like kind of refreshes your skin and it helps the makeup go on really beautifully. Right here, I'm adding a little bit of eye cream. That one is from Fresh and now Next, I'm using this complexion primer from Urban Decay. <laughs> okay, so I was not expecting that primer to be so thick, so that was my reaction. But I have to say, I used a bunch of pro new products in this video and they were all winners, including this primer. So you could see like, I am really working it into my skin because it's a pretty thick primer. I've never used a primer this thick. But I felt at the end that my makeup went on so smooth and that it lasted and it just like it really gave something for my foundation to stick to so big fan of this primer for sure wow i'm using a lot of urban decay today i didn't even notice that so this is the urban decay naked skin foundation so i've had this foundation for a long time but i never used it because it wasn't the right color i finally got the right color 4.0 is the shade that i use and it's the perfect color for me it's a really beautiful foundation like Naked Skin is the perfect name for it because it's a very lightweight foundation and it looks really natural on the skin. So if you're looking for a great like everyday foundation, I definitely recommend this one. And for sure, I'll be using it a lot more in my videos as well. For the eyes, I am starting with a NYX eyeshadow base primer. I know that I've been using this eyeshadow primer way too much in my videos. I literally use it every single video, but it's just, it's so good and it just works. But I will tell you guys one thing that I really noticed with this primer is that you have to blend it out very, very well. Because if you don't blend it out well, then you're gonna have little spots where the eyeshadow sticks. The eyeshadow can look patchy. So you have to make sure that you blend out the primer really, really well before you do anything else. I am finally using this palette, the Modern Renaissance palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I've had this palette forever and I just never felt inspired by it. I don't know why. And then one day I just picked it up. I'm like, I'm going to do a look with this. <laughs> so I'm starting off with the lightest shade, Tempera, and using that all over my lid as my base shadow. This is going to help everything else we apply just blend out so much nicer because we have this base color underneath. And then I'm taking the color Burnt Orange for the crease. And the one thing you guys are gonna notice about this look is that all the colors blend so beautifully together. This is actually a really, really easy look to do because the eyeshadows do all the work for you because the colors just work together. I'm just working that color in my crease back and forth, blending it all the way from corner to corner and up towards my brows. And then I'm taking the color Primavera. I love all these colors. They're all so beautiful and they're different. Like they're more like orangey. So I don't, I don't think I've ever really done kind of a peachy eye look like this before. I don't know, maybe I have, but these colors just 
came together so beautifully. And then I'm taking the color red okra. You know, when I first got this palette, I literally was like, ugh, what is the big hype? I wasn't into it at all. I didn't want to do any looks from it. And then I did this one. I was like, the, this palette is beautiful. These are really high quality eyeshadows. So I'm using this color in the outer corner and you could see it just blended out so beautifully into the other two. Just kind of bringing it across the lid and just sweeping it back and forth into the crease. Then as my final color, I'm taking Antique Bronze and using that just kind of right at the lash line to give the entire look a little bit of dimension so it's not all just those red kind of orangey tones. I'm adding a little bit of this bronzy brown tone just at the lash line and then blending it up into the inner corner but not really taking it anywhere else. And then I took that nude color one more time, the first one we used, and used that as my highlight for my brow bone. For the lash line, I took Burnt Orange and I sweeped it along the lash line, just all the way across. And I did this a little bit thicker because we're still gonna do concealer and foundation and finish up our foundation and stuff. So what ends up happening is like a lot of that eyeshadow can kind of diffuse and blend away. So I like to do it a little bit thicker just because of that reason. And then I took the shimmery pale color from the palette, Vemper, and popped that right in the inner corner. This little part makes such a difference as well because it just kind of opens up the eye and just kind of makes your eye sparkle a little bit. For the eyeliner, I'm using one of my favorites and you can tell because oh, look how tiny this thing is, guys. <laughs> I don't know why I still have it. I think it's because I just love it so much. I don't want to throw it away and I have to sharpen it. So <laughs> it's barely going to survive. But this is Teddy from MAC. So this is probably my all-time favorite brown coal eyeliner. It's the perfect brown. It's like a ready brown it has a little bit of a, like a gold undertone gold shimmer to it it's so so pretty I'm also adding mascara to the lower lash line and I'm using the roller lash from benefit this is a really good mascara it gives volume and length and does not clump up your lashes at all and for lashes okay so this is probably one of my favorite decisions about this look is that I use these lashes from Makeup Forever. I'm going to list everything for you guys below in the description box. So these lashes are pretty much exactly like the Ardell Demi Wispies. However, they are brown. And I know you guys can't really tell that in the video, but they are brown, not black. And it makes the eye makeup look so much more natural. And I love, love the brown lashes with these eyeshadows. It's so pretty. You could definitely use black if you want, but brown is a really great option as well. Moving on to concealer. So I am starting off with one of my favorite concealers right now. This is the NARS Soft Matte Concealer. And I used this in a recent video and I show you guys really how well this concealer works because I basically did no foundation and I just used this concealer because it's a full coverage concealer but it's like creamy and it's just like the most beautiful finish so I'm going to link that video for you guys right here so make sure you check it out and then I'll go over that with the radiant creamy concealer from NARS as well they know how to do concealers that's just a fact because their concealers are so so good and the combo of these two together works so well. For bronzer, I'm using one of my favorites right now. This is from Rimmel London. It's a natural bronzer number 22. And it's just such a beautiful shade. I the use tone this. is beautiful. It blends so nice on the skin. It smells amazing. I don't know why it smells so good. <laughs> it smells like it has like suntan lotion in it. It smells so good. Um, but yes, this is currently my go to bronzer right now and it's drugstore so you can't go wrong i'm using it kind of as a contour color first and then going in with a bigger brush to use it as a bronzer all over my face and i really wanted the skin to be bronzy for this because i think the bronze goes so beautiful with these eyeshadows and then on top of that bronzer, I use this beautiful blush from NYX. This is their illuminating powder. So these blushes have a lot of like 
sheen to them they have a beautiful glow to them so if you're not a huge fan of a lot of glow on your cheeks maybe this is not the right product for you but I thought it was perfect for this look and this color is amazing it is this bright kind of peachy tone again really wanted to keep in that same family for all of these colors and it just went so well with the eyeshadows okay you guys are gonna die <laughs> guess what I have I am drooling because this palette is so amazing so there's a lot of products that get hyped up but everybody's like oh my god they're so good and then you try them and, you, and you're like uh what's the big deal this is not one of those products this highlighter palette the collab with Nicole and Anastasia Beverly Hills is beautiful you guys it's so so good the quality of the powders are amazing and the colors are beautiful and it just looks so pretty on the skin I love that there's so many different tones so I just kind of mix and match them and play around with whatever vibe I'm feeling that day and it's just like it's just the prettiest prettiest glow on your skin it's perfect if you want to treat yourself I definitely recommend this palette because I think I'm I'm gonna have to try to stop myself from using it in every video <laughs> and I basically just applied the shimmer all over my face because I could not get enough of it for the lips I'm using the NYX liquid lipstick and again all the products will be below for you guys and I really wanted a super peachy lip for this look because that is the JLo staple nobody does a beautiful nude peach lip like JLo does and I didn't want it to be pink at all because I really wanted it to go with the eyes and it's spring and that was the vibe so I had to find the perfect color and I'm so happy that I did because this color was just dead on it was like like exactly what I had in mind and I love these liquid lipsticks from NYX they're so so good but I did not want the lip to be matte because I don't know why I'm just been feeling glossy lips again I've <laughs> been totally feeling glossy lips but layering so not just doing a gloss on its own I really love doing the matte first and then a gloss over it because I feel like you just get so much more like color payoff and this color from Makeup Forever, please, please, please be in stock. If this is not available, I will be so sad and I'm so sorry that I used it, but it's the perfect color with this with the liquid lipstick. It just made the perfect peach. This combo is everything. I loved it so much. Oh my God, look how pretty that is, guys. It was just the perfect, perfect nude glossy peach lip very JLo. I finished off the look with just a little bit more blush and that is it guys that is my JLo inspired peach makeup I hope you loved it make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're new don't forget to hit the like button if you like this look be sure to add me on Instagram because I have a lot of fun stuff coming up that you only find on Instagram you won't see it on YouTube so make sure you go add me at Iman leave me a comment below let me know what you guys think and let me know what you want to see next all right guys I love you and I'll see you in another video very soon bye